Hey, my name is Rosina Espik and if you've already seen some of my videos or just this intro, you know that it is one of my biggest passions to be outside in the forest with my animals. And maybe you have also already noticed that at least most of the time I'm not using any leashes, but the animals are still following. And because I know that what I do is not ordinary for many people, but I do love it so much, I thought I should start a series where I sh share a little bit more about that topic. And today I want to start with giving you a little insight into how our journey started. And in order to explain it as understandable as possible, I would like to go to my childhood. I wouldn't say that I've always had a special connection with animals just because it is my conviction that we are all born with a natural capability to connect with animals on a soul level. That is why all of us do have the dream and the desire to build a deep friendship with an animal, at least at some point during our childhood. And I guess that also is the reason why there are so many movies and books for children which are showing exactly this kind of relationship. As kids, we really want to learn how to communicate with animals. But in our modern societies, we learn how to train them instead. We want to trust them, but instead we learn how to control them. Honestly, we just want to love them and be loved by them. But instead, we learn how to judge them and sort them in different categories like pets, farm animals, wild animals. Actually, instead of learning how to connect with them, we learn how to use them. And I'm not just talking about farm animals. Even the value of a dog, for example, is measured by its ability to adapt to human needs. And at some point, most of us do accept that our desire is nothing but a childish dream with no relevance in real life. I guess that is a point where my journey became a special one, because I never did that. I refused to let go of that dream until today. One of the main reasons why I did that is that while I grew up, I've had the opportunity to connect with many different kinds of animals. So for me, there has never been a clear border between pets, farm animals and wildlife. And at the same time, I've learned at a really young age that there are many different manners when it comes to the treatment of animals and that some of them come with an immense amount of pain, which most people do accept. But my perspective is different and many people have a hard time to understand my strong emotions and desires when it comes to animals. So I realized that if I want to find what I am longing for, I can't take the road that everybody else is taking. I need to create it myself. And as I started to do that, it became pretty clear to me that if I want to grow a healthy relationship with my animals, I need to meet them on an eye level. And in order to do so, I need to set them free. So that is my main motivation. I want to set my animals free in order to get to know their real nature, in order to learn how to communicate, trust and love them just the way they are. And even if I still need to be the last authority, the change from control to trust is my main goal. And I also believe that letting them run free is one of the healthiest things you can offer an animal because they get to use their own intuition. They can choose how to, how to move. They can choose what to eat. They can do what is good for them. And this is an amazing bonus as well. So all in all, it is worth every struggle for me. No matter how many people told me that I would be on the wrong path, no matter how many challenges life placed along our road, and no matter how many mistakes I did myself, I never stopped trying. And even if I can't say that I am at my final destination, I know that I am on the right path, and I've already learned so indescribably much what I'm looking forward to share with you. So, I really hope to see you soon again. Bye bye. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can. Make